active transport is a mode of cellular transport where a molecule can cross the plasma membrane against their concentration gradient and in those procedure ATP is needed basically ATP gives the energy to the molecule for transportation from lower concentration to higher concentration hello friends welcome to biology concern I am Animesh and in this video I am going to discuss about active transport so let's jump into the topic firstly in case of active transport the movement of molecules occurred from lower concentration to higher concentration okay and against their concentration gradient and in this process it requires a cellular energy that is the ATP so basically ATP is converted into ADP and PI that is inorganic phosphate and those inorganic phosphates are generates energy and this energy is used for these active transports so active transport basically is subdivided into two major categories one is primary active transport and another one is secondary active transport in primary active transport ATP hydrolysis is required that means ATP is broken down to ADP adenosine diphosphate and PI inorganic phosphate and those inorganic phosphates creates the energy and those energy is responsible for the movement of the molecule against their concentration gradient but in this process of primary active transport one transporter or pump is essential to transport the molecules from lower concentration to higher concentration one example of this uh, primary active transporters are known as sodium potassium ATPase transporters. So basically sodium potassium ATPase transporters are consisted of two different subunits. One is alpha subunit and another one is beta subunit. So basically alpha subunit is responsible for ATP hydrolysis. So ATP hydrolysis is done by alpha subunit and the beta subunit is responsible to correct assembly of these ATPases in the membrane of endoplasmic reticulum or ER. So whenever these transporters get activated, three sodium ions are transport out from the cell. So three sodium ions transport out of the cell and two potassium ions transport into the cell. So basically it is a movement of three sodium ions from intercellular to extracellular and two potassium ions from extracellular to the cytosolic phase of the cell. So there are certain inhibitors present of these primary active transporters or sodium potassium ATPase transporters. So they are known as cardiotonic steroids or cardiac glycosides. So the example of these cardiac glycosides are digitalis and waben. So basically they inhibits the dephosphorylation of sodium potassium pump when applied to the extracellular environment. That means if there is a pump, so if this is a pump and we applied digitalis and wabin in here extracellular phase, then it blocks the dephosphorylation from the alpha subunit of this particular transporters and resulting a gradation that means this particular transporter channel is now blocked and it cannot move another sodium or potassium ions against their concentration gradient so basically it inhibits the function of this particular sodium potassium ATPase transporters another inhibitor is known as palytoxins so basically Palitoxin converts these sodium potassium pumps into non-specific ion channels. That means they create destroy the gradient of this plasma membrane and creates these sodium potassium pumps into a non-specific ion channels. That means every ion can pass through it and there is no control of passing of these ions. So basically this destroy the ion gradient around the cell. In secondary active transports, symporters are basically used and those symporters helps to transport one molecule against their concentration gradient. That means the 
endergonic reaction or uphill reaction along with another molecule down their concentration gradient that is the exergonic reaction or downhill reaction. So one example of this secondary active transport is sodium glucose symporters that is the SGLT1. Those SGLT1s are present on the apical surface of the small intestine also found in nephron that is present in kidney. So basically whenever sodium flows down their concentration gradient, glucose flows against their concentration gradient. So just observe this picture here. So the, if this is the intestinal lumen, so if this portion is the intestinal lumen and this is the intercellular space, right? So this is the cell, this is the cell. Those are the tight junctions mentioned in here. So basically in this symporta, so this is the SGLT1, this is SGLT1. So this SGLT1 helps the sodium ion transport down their concentration gradient and glucose along with glucose transport against their concentration gradient. So at a time it transport both the glucose and sodium both of the molecules but in case of glucose, glucose transport against their concentration gradient and in case of sodium, sodium transport lower their concentration gradient that means down their concentration gradient. So sodium transport from higher concentration to lower concentration and glucose transport from lower concentration to higher concentration. So whenever uptake is done by SGLT1, now specific transporters are activated and specific transporters transport glucose from this cytosol to intercellular space. So glucose now present in here, so intercellular space and here primary active transporters are also got activated and they transport the sodium and potassium ions against their concentration gradient as I described earlier. So basically after the transport of glucose ions or glucose and sodium ions Sodium ions pumps back out of the cell by sodium it, potassium ATPase pumps. So basically whenever this glucose transport is done, that means the transport of glucose from lower concentration to higher concentration, these primary active transporters are activated and those primary active transporter helps those sodium ions transport out of the cell against their concentration gradient. So this is basically secondary active transport and primary active transport and also inhibitors of active transporters. So if you like the video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.